Los Angeles is home to millions of people looking for a healthier lifestyle. Well, look no more. Your World Today is here and is a show offering you a wide array of topics to improve your quality of life. From a healthier living to making smarter decisions. Welcome to Your World Today. This is Your World Today. I'm Ophelia de la Torre, and we're here at White Memorial Medical Center. I'm Kerrigan Van Poy, and we're really excited to be out of the studio today. They let us out to play, so we're going to play hard. Well, we're going to meet some great people today, and I hear you have a big interview coming up. You know, everyone is important here at White Memorial Medical Center, but these guys, they're VIP, so I'm going to go out and change. Okay, and, and I'm, I'm going to go and talk to Dr. Al Idris, but before we do, you did get a little bit taller, I think. <laughs> I want to thank you for helping me offset the, the, the little height disparity. Well, whatever we can do to help. Trade thank secret. You. Thank you, Karen. So you can go do your interview, I'll go do mine. All right, we'll meet up later. Meet right here. All right. All right. See Sounds you. good. Well, we're here at White Memorial Medical Center, and I am looking for Dr. Al Idris, who is an endocrinologist and a specialist in diabetes. I think it's right here. Dr. Idris, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Thank you so much for taking some time to visit no with us. No problem at all. Have a seat. Thank you very much. So we're here with Dr. Idris to talk a little bit about diabetes, prevention, some of the complications, and you are an endocrinologist. Can you tell me briefly what that means, doctor? As a hormone specialist, we basically deal mostly with diabetes, and then we have thyroid disease, pituitary disease, osteoporosis, a lot of the diseases that in origin are from hormonal disturbances. So we're sitting here in your office at White Memorial and you see a lot of patients come in here and a lot of your patients have diabetes. Why is diabetes so common? I think it's a byproduct of our lifestyle uh, you know, and, and the overweight obesity epidemic that we have. We think about 60% uh, of our population are overweight, 30% uh, are obese. So that leads to what we call insulin resistance. Insulin resistance on the long term causes complications including heart disease, cholesterol problems, diabetes, and diabetes is, is, is of enormous proportions right now. Uh, our population uh, of diabetics uh, seems to have doubled in the last 20 years, uh, and it's particularly dangerous for the Latino community uh, because they seem to have more complications uh, with the diabetes. Well, when it comes to any kind of health-related issue, prevention is usually the best course of action if you can. What are some ways that people can prevent getting diabetes? So, uh, some things you cannot modify, which is your genetics, uh, your hereditary. So, uh, if you have family history of diabetes, you cannot change that. You cannot choose your parents. But, things that you can do to prevent or lower your risk of developing diabetes, uh, basically healthy eating and exercise, uh, changing your habits. And I typically tell my patients that uh, you don't erase habits you replace them with, some, with something healthier. So if you are, you get a cue, you're hungry, and you see that fast food around the corner, you grab a sandwich, eat a sandwich, and then you have that pleasure right away, that's your habit. So if you have that cue, you're hungry, you're thinking about eating something, the moment you change that sequence, it'll change the downstream effects of that habit. So you feel hungry, grab an apple, you eat an apple, your sequence of events has changed, so you've replaced a bad habit with a good habit, and that ultimately will lead to weight loss. So it's going to take a little behavior modification on everybody's part, yeah. it sounds like. So uh, for the people out there watching, what are some of the ways to uh, prevent any complications? Say we've tried the prevention and unfortunately we get diabetes, what can we do to uh, avoid complications? Yeah, so, so diabetes control uh, is, is essential. Um, you have to keep your doctor's visits. Uh, be prepared before you go to your doctor. You have to make sure you have your list of medications. If you're diabetic, check your blood sugar, bring your, your sugar logbook, bring in your testing machine. So you're prepared for the doctor's visit. Prepare yourself for the questions that you'd like to ask. It's a good idea to bring somebody with you. And listen carefully to what the doctor will say. Know your ABCs. Now the A is your A1C. An A1C of 7 or higher will correlate with complications later on. An A1C of 7 or less, less complications. So know that. Uh, know your B, which is the blood pressure. You always want to have a blood pressure of 130 over 80 or better. And that also lowers your complication rate. Know your C, which is cholesterol. You want to make sure cholesterol is good. 
So always ask your doctor, what's my A1C, my blood pressure, my cholesterol. When you go into the room, always make sure, take off your shoes, have the doctor look at your feet every time. Don't ignore that and help the doctor to be a better doctor by your actions. So if you do that, then you're more likely to have that good habit and probably not have as much uh, of diabetic foot complications as some patients would. Now I have a question. You, you mentioned the ABCs. I know what the blood pressure and I know what the cholesterol are. If we can back up. What's the, what's the A1C? I, I don't know if anybody out there maybe knows what it is either. Yeah. So, so typically uh, most uh, doctors who treat diabetes will check a blood test every three months. And one of the tests that we do is called hemoglobin A1C. It's a type of an indirect measurement to tell the doctor how good or bad your sugar has been over the, over the past three months. Okay. So it's an indirect reflection. Uh, and uh, we've known for more than 20 years now that the higher A1C, the higher that uh, estimate is, it tells us that you're going to have some diabetic complications. Uh, this was revealed in a study in 1994, so we understand that this number is a one-time easy test to do, but it tells us a lot about what's happening in the three months before and what could happen in terms of complications in the future. So it paints a little bit more of a, a fuller picture yeah. of what the patient's experience. Yeah. When it comes to diabetes, a word you always hear is insulin. So maybe you can tell us what right. insulin is. Is it a bad thing for you? Right. So, so once somebody's already diagnosed with diabetes, they have two problems. They have insufficiency in insulin production, and they also have a problem with insulin resistance, which is usually the weight gain. So everybody with diabetes have an insulin production problem. It is estimated that by the time you're diagnosed with diabetes, your capacity to produce insulin is knocked down 50%. And over the next years, every year there is some element of insulin ability lost, so about 5% a year. So in five to 10 years, maybe time span of being diagnosed with diabetes, a lot of patients will need to be on insulin, and insulin is actually a good thing. There was a lot of myths about insulin in the past because people didn't want to inject and they would wait too long before they actually take the appropriate therapy, so they have a lot of complications. Uh, but now with the newer ways of injecting insulin, people get on insulin earlier, and that's a way to prevent complications. Uh, people who still think that insulin uh, is a bad thing are thinking when insulin was discovered uh, in 1921 and that has changed a lot now. So insulin is the mainstay of a lot of treatments. Doctor, thank you so much for all these answers and some great information for all of us out there. We're going to take a quick break, but be sure to stay with us because when we come back, Ophelia has some interesting and exciting news about our Center for Hispanic Health. So stay with us.